quite some mm -hmm. time. Got them all together for a little story on the show today. Also, you're going to meet a superstar about uh, that tall. Yeah, or maybe a little taller than that. A little taller, about <laughs> 10 years old, right? Also, uh, we have a guy who's hoping to be a superstar in the near future, just like his uh, legendary father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and... Viewer mail oh. night. It's viewer mail night. That's Some always fun. Yeah, a few, yeah. All right. Now, you're probably sitting at home saying, what in the world are they talking <laughs> about? Well, here's the answer. For years, the Mandrell sisters had the most popular family show on television. Today on Crook and Chase, we'll watch as Barbara, Louise, and Darlene work together for the first time since their network variety show. She's captured the hearts of children everywhere and even inspired her own cartoon series. We'll meet the star of Punky Brewster, Soleil Moonfry. It's, it's easy coming from a millionaire who's made all <laughs> sorts of money from bridge over troubled waters. Easy for time. him to say, right? Well, okay. here are some girls who have made a few dollars in their careers, yes. too. There are lots of family acts in the country music business, but the name Mandrell has become an institution. For years now, the Mandrell sisters have been singing, dancing, playing, drumming, and picking their way into the hearts of America. And though it's been quite a while since their popular network variety series, we found out that these siblings still make a pretty good team. Yes, oh, he's Mom, ready. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Uh, we're just running fast, Quinn. So we're, we're doing fine. Okay, now all of you look right here into the camera. Six miles away. I thought this would be tacos. I've always wanted to be a waitress. <laughs> there was almost as much clowning around as there was working when Barbara, Louise, and Erlene Mandrell got together recently for a commercial photo shoot. Reach for a biscuit, Louise, and Barbara, you look at Louise with a smile. Louise, you're looking at the biscuit. Wait, are you shooting the real thing now? No, follow on. Okay. Just follow on. How am I looking at it? Uh, Louise. Thank you. Though they've each been busy with their own careers, it's the first time they've all worked together in quite a while. Okay, so you all have to tell me what it's like working together again after about four years. It's the, the same. She's still bossy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still in the middle. She's still in the middle. <laughs> now, Louise keeps saying this about you, Barbara. She keeps saying you're bossy. It's because my sister Louise does not lie. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any hard parts about working together? No, we do what we're told. <laughs> we get along that way. I think there's a real advantage that this has been many, many times when both of you have helped me, when there was something that was troubling me, bothering me, uh, you've helped me, and I know for a fact that I've helped you two many times. <laughs> Barbara's attention to detail and her supportive attitude have been a help to her sisters, but she says that nowadays they're making it on their own. There have been times, there was, there was one time when I watched Louise, and, and it was funny you mentioned it, but I, it was when I watched you on a television show. Just as a fan, and just as the critical sister that I am, so that I could pick you to pieces. <laughs> and I was just so absolutely knocked out and impressed. It takes a lot to impress me, but you did. And I remember thinking, golly, boy. Good show, I'm gonna copy that yes. for you. <laughs> yeah, I really have you know, some absolute impossible competition here because uh, look at this woman. She is really great. <laughs> that was one of my weak moments. Despite all the kidding, it didn't take long for Louise to return the compliment. I was in Vegas and I could not go the night Barbara got this year, her People's Choice Award. And that award meant more to me than all the other awards she had gotten because this was after the accident. And, and she was there, and she was back on the road, first night back on the road. And when it aired on television, it was overwhelming because it, it hit me uh, that she was winning an award that, uh, I, don't, I don't want to compare her to other big names, but I mean, the people beyond country music, not just pop, but actresses, and I mean, people in all professions were competing for it. And it made me so proud because she made country music look good. And she made us look good. Though the Mandrells have all been in show business for many years now, they say that their relationship as sisters hasn't changed over the years. No, not in our roles. I mean, Erlene still is like the first person we think of who's going to entertain everybody. She still plays the dingy blonde when you're having a party. And she just, she knows how to enjoy life. Barbara's still bossy, <laughs> and I'm somewhere still in the middle. I'm not quite sure. But I'm very proud to say that you're getting more bossy all the time. 
<laughs> not a good teacher. <laughs> oh. Any injuries during the interview? Well, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Are they ever going to work again together as a team? Yeah, you know, I don't think so. They're yeah. all going off in so many different directions. I just don't think they have the time to do that. I think we'd all love to see it, mm -hmm. but I doubt it. You know, their careers are being guided by their dad, mm -hmm. Herbie Mandel. Right. He manages all three girls. Mm -hmm. That has to be a problem for him. <laughs> I think the only problem is that with three girls, he gets bossed around three times <laughs> as much as he would with just I don't